Sorry, thank you. <coughs> thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Minister. Thank you for the, the, the information you share with us, but uh, uh, also thank you for the energy and the ambition uh, that you put in your uh, presentation. And I hope that this energy and this ambition could spread to all the German uh, presidency. Uh, the, the 20 billion question about the cuts in the budget, uh, it's down. So I, I only want to make some more concrete questions. First, about the, the possible plan to purchase vaccines to support developing countries. Uh, if there are a plan and what, uh, what information you can have about that. Second, um, I'm the, the co-president of the Joint Parliamentary uh, Assembly, um, uh, Africa, Caribbean, and Pacific with the European Union. Uh, as you know, the European Union Africa strategy and the post cotonou agreements have a crucial role to play in relaunching our inter intercontinental relations in order to develop new synergies, uh, a new multi multilateral approach, and the German presidency has a key role in the, uh, to finish these uh, negotiations. Uh, do, do you think that it will be possible to conclude these agreements during the, the German presidency first? And what is, in your opinion, the contribution of these agreements uh, in a strategic perspective uh, to improve the global resilience to phenomenon like the, the COVID-19? And uh, finally, as a Portuguese member, <laughs> you know, and you told us the Portuguese presidency is part of, a, uh, sorry, the German presidency is part uh, of a trio of presidencies that includes uh, the following presidency of Portugal and after the presidency of Slovenia. Uh, my question is, is, is uh, if there are a coordinated plan in the humanitarian head issue between these three countries and uh, after between the 27 and the, to, to make uh, good things and 